what is happening? <laughs> this is why I don't film hauls at night. Because I look like this in my cozy Sherpa wrap that I got for Christmas. And it is excellent. I, I don't know what to do with this up here. You know, it's just not working. It's not working. I have too much hair and I don't feel like leaving it down. Oh, I got a comment the other day that someone was like, you touch your hair too much. Do you see how much hair I have? Don't watch my videos if you think I touch my hair too much. <laughs> I hope you're loving watching that. Anyway. Hey. hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, I have a Goodwill haul and an antique store or a few antique store um, pieces to share with you. I scored these a couple of weeks ago and I'm finally getting around to sharing them, but they are worth the wait. I got some really good finds. I actually went into the antique store with things in mind. Usually I'm just like going into browse. Of course, like I have things in the back of my head, but I was like, no, I need to find stuff for my kitchen. That was my plan for this day. And I did find two things that I really was hunting for for my kitchen. So first one that I'm going to show you is these two pieces are already in use. I've been using them in my kitchen, so I already have them cleaned up and kind of like styled. But I got this amazing crock at an antique store. I think I paid $18 for this. And right before I went to this antique store, I was at a prior one and I paid 25 for a different crock that I don't love as much, but whatever. So I have two, I could not leave this one behind. This is exactly what I was looking for. I wanted one that was like really like stained almost and beat up because my kitchen is so stark white and like I don't know, I just wanted something that looked like really vintage on my countertops with these newer looking um, utensils. So I like having, let me clamp this real quick because it's taking up a lot of space. I like having all of my utensils in here. Really? I don't normally keep them out on the counter. I go through like spurts on if I like them on the counter or I put them away in the drawer, but right now I'm liking them on the counter. So I have them all collected in a crock on my counter right next to my stove and I'm loving them. And while I'm at it, I will show you the other crock that I picked up first. I was thinking I was gonna use this one on my counter and don't get me wrong, this is such a beautiful crock. I think this is like maybe a one gallon or a half a gallon. I don't think this is a one gallon. I'm looking at a two gallon crock right now. I don't, I don't know. It's a smaller size, but there is definitely, these are heavy, a difference in the coloring of them. And this was more of what I was searching for, but I found this one after I bought this one, but that's okay. And of course it's an antique store, so I wasn't able to go back and return this one, but like I said, that's fine. I will find something to do with this. You don't always have to use Crocs as decor. You can put them in your pantry and store stuff, stick them in a cabinet and store stuff, put them in a bathroom and store, I don't know, like little loose odds and ends for when people come over. You know what? I was looking for something for storing a Febreze bottle and baby wipes in the downstairs bathroom because they're in a wire basket right now, a black wire basket, and I don't like that you can see everything in there. That would be cool. I think this would fit on my shelf if I stuck everything in there. We're going to try that tonight. Okay. So for the longest time, I've been looking for a small wooden crate to stick on my kitchen countertops. And 
I'm like torn between keeping this on the countertop or a short flat one that I could like stick my mixer in, my crock of utensils, like a short rimmed, I can't explain it, almost like a Pepsi crate, but without like all of the slots, just like an open crate. So I'm kind of like playing with my countertops a little bit right now, but I did find this wooden crate. I've been looking for one forever one without any labels or anything like that that I could put a couple of cookbooks in because I thought it would look really cute. I think I paid about 25 for this piece and I already have it styled on my countertops for right now, just like a after putting all my Christmas away, I needed to stick some stuff on my counters. And I got this wooden crate. I do believe it's definitely handmade, whoa. Um, there's like nails all in the side and stuff. And it's a, oh my God, it's heavy, but it's a smaller size, like the size of a cookbook fits right in it. And it just looks cute out on your countertop to display like cookbooks and stuff like that. So that's what I have right now on my counter. I actually have this bin right next to my little crock filled with utensils. So it looks really nice, but so yeah, I love that little wooden crate. I could stick that in so many spaces. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it on my counters because I, as much as I love decor and clutter, as you can see behind me, I am very particular about what goes on my kitchen countertops because we use our kitchen and that kind of stuff overwhelms me if like the countertops are full of stuff and I can't even use them while I'm cooking and stuff like that. No, no, no. I don't like that. I'll clutter this up because I don't need to go in there. But if I need to like use my kitchen, I can't deal with all the stuff, you know? So that's that. We'll see if I do use it for that intention, but I really do like it with cookbooks in it. So I picked that up and then what else? Let's take a little break from the home decor. I got three clothing items. I've been sharing a lot more clothing items with you guys. If that's really like, it's never like a haul of clothes. So if you don't like clothing items, you can just fast forward ahead a little bit, but um, I am gonna show you three things real quick. The first one was for Mr. Nicholas. You guys, if you go buy ties in store, they're like astronomically priced. It's absolutely ridiculous. However, Go to the Goodwill. There are like thousands of ties there or any thrift store. This was marked $1.99. This is like one of my favorite colors. It's this gorgeous green. And Nick coaches youth hockey. He coaches like high school hockey and has to wear like a dress shirt and tie for games that he coaches. So I got this for him. And it is Michael Kors. A Michael Kors $2 tie. You cannot beat that. Crazy. Great price. And then the other two things were for me. And I tried them on in store. They fit me good. Or they fit me well. Sorry. Um, this is Denim and Flower Ricky Singh. I don't know anything about this brand. But I thought this was a really cute jacket for the spring or the fall. It's just like a really lightweight linen material jacket and it has like two big pockets in the front. Here, let me try it on so you can see. Just like a really cute lightweight jacket and it like snap buttons up the front. I will probably just leave it open, but I thought it was really cute. And I paid $6.99 for this. So you cannot beat that. And then this was a Athleta zip up sweatshirt or zip up jacket. I love to wear these with my scrub bottoms at work. Um, sometimes I'll just wear these with a tank top underneath or I'll like put them over a scrub top but it's like that really nice athletic material. 
And this is like a $130 zip up jacket. Athleta is like priced like Lululemon, honestly. And this was also $6.99. Crazy, crazy, crazy prices. And the last thing that I got at the Goodwill, let me put this back on because it is freezing in my house. I have the fireplace going next to me and it's still so cold. I hate the winter. Um, oh my God, I'm looking at something. I'll probably put it in my thumbnail, but I am so excited to share this with you. I have looked for one for years, years, literal years. Okay, so this is a little bit sturdy. I mean, not sturdy, oh my God, unsturdy. What's the word for that? Um, this is a little, Where's your heart? Uh, rickety? Yeah, we'll say that. This is a little rickety, but I had to have it. I believe this is like vintage. I don't know. I would love your opinion. I would really love to sand it down because it looks like it was spray painted, but I paid $8.99. Had a purple tag. It wasn't on sale or anything, but I believe this is like a vintage milking stool by the shape of the top here. $8.99 I paid for this at the Goodwill, you guys. Do you think this is vintage? And God, sanding this would have to be a nightmare, but I really do wanna get this ugly brown finish off of this. I don't know. This looks like DIY for someone else. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to do it, but it's going to be a project. That's for sure. Or maybe I'll like paint it white and make it chippy or something like that. We'll see. Let me know your opinion. Should I try to sand it down to its natural finish, which will probably be a nightmare? Um, because it's really hard for me to sand turned legs. It's just, or I could paint it white and do like a chippy farmhouse look on that. I think that would look cute with a croc on it. Yeah, let me know what you think. So I got that. And then I did get one more croc. I was going to put this back. And I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. I had to get it. So I paid, I think, 40 for this. And it was 20% off this three gallon crock it's large and heavy personally I think you cannot have too many of these pop them in a corner on a stool pop them in the bottom of your pantry um there's just so many things you can do with these I have one in the corner of my bathroom that I store some toilet paper in there's just so many different options for crocs they don't always have to be like decorative but it's a cute way to like have decor as purposeful things, like store toilet paper in it. Um, I'm trying to think. You could like store flip flops in it in your closet. I just love Crocs. I have so many of them, but literally all of them are in use. Even the one in my garage outside that I'm not like using right now is holding like leftover pieces of trim from our house. So. All of them have a purpose. I love them. Love them. Love them. Can't say enough good things about Crocs. Dominique, my friend who I went antiquing with this day, was like the pig collector, the pig finder. And she found this set of two little piggies. And if you know, you know, I love to collect my little pigs. I do think this was like 16, 15. I can't remember exactly. Um, but I have never ever seen a baby pig like this and a girl who resells on Instagram, she finds these and I have been like waiting for her to find one to sell me one. So I was so excited that Dominique found one this day. And then this is like a baby one. Like I'm talking baby, like the size of my ear. <gasps> so cute. And then this little guy is just precious. This is the size of him. So he will be added to my little collection. 
love him so much. The guy at the counter was like, where's the third one? Like the three little pigs. I was like, I don't know. You want to find me a third one and I'll take it with this price? That would be fine with me. I have one more. No, I'm lying. I have three more things to show you. I'll save the best find for last. Um, I have been on the hunt for one of these because I already have a shorter version and I found it at a Habitat for Humanity for $2 and it's these brass plugins. I love the like ambiance that these give in my house. Put them on top of a hutch. Right now I have mine on top of my scalloped cabinet and I think these are just so beautiful. I intended to paint the top of my other one and I just never got around to it. Honestly, it looks fine. But I think I paid $8 for this and just gives your room like such a cozy vibe. I love the look of these lights. So pick that up. And then at that same antique store, there was a stack of books. I should have looked more closely at them because I feel like there was other ones that were neutral colors, but I also remember there being a lot of red books, which I'm not really into red in my house, but I did find this really pretty colored one. All of the books in this stack were only $2, which is why I'm saying I should have looked a little bit better, but this is like a really nice, like off brown colored book. No, there's no published date. I don't know. Maybe I'll look it up. But I got this book for two bucks. You can't beat a vintage book for two bucks. The last thing that I have to share with you guys is a find that I have been looking for for I cannot even tell you how long. It has been so long. I still have like one version in mind that I really want, but I've been looking for a tabletop little wooden cubby. I don't even know what they're called. Like a wooden box cubby with little drawers, kind of like a small apothecary cabinet. I feel like that is what I'm trying to say. However, I came across this one at the antique store It was marked 150. She sold it to me for 135. I love it, okay? I made my own money and I'll spend it how I like, okay? All right, so this is the most darling little thing. It almost looks like a little dresser. I don't know. I'm obsessed with it. I think I'm gonna put it in my sitting room and I'm gonna store all of my little wax melts for my wax warmers in this. But you guys, like the, the wash on this, it looks like solid pine. Oh my God, I can't. I feel like this isn't even doing it justice. Let me flip the camera around and show you how adorable this is. Maggie has to sit there in her bed next to me or else she'll tap next to me. The entire time I film. I can't even stand her. So this is the little chest that I got. I think the knobs just really sold me. I absolutely love this thing. So beautiful. It's small like tabletop. It has like cute little legs on the side. Sorry you're right next to my fireplace if you're seeing that weird reflection. The lighting is not the best but I'm obsessed with this piece. I can't wait to style it. I think that I was so excited to share this piece with you guys that I completely forgot to film an outro for this video. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate you so much. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite piece that I found in today's video. I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.